Hello everybody, Shoshana Mizell here. How are you doing? Welcome to my platform. If you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, thanks for coming by. I really appreciate it. I am an artist and dancer, dance teacher, and um, I am writing my first book. And actually the book, which is the story of my life, so it's a memoir. Uh, it's all connected to the art and the dancing and the teaching. It has all been a pivotal experience for me to be able to express myself in a way that would help me heal, would foster a feeling of safety. So I will definitely let you guys know when my book is out. And after you read the book, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Today, I wanted to share a piece of my artwork. I'll be uh, loading um, a quick art share every Sunday. So this piece here is um, oil paint. And the name of this piece, piece here is Forgiven. Now, <clears throat> When I was eight years old, my mother very tragically, sadly, uh, passed away. So I never got to be able to hold her as an adult. I never got, I never was able to share the experience of being a mother with her. And one day I just thought I would lay down a sketch of just what love would be and I did not intend it to be this but this is what developed so this is me um, or any woman and this is me holding my mother here now when we're born we're obviously naked so that's kind of why I wanted my mom to be um, unclothed. To express her vulnerability, to express rebirth. And the reason it's rebirth is because I was able to give birth to something that would never be able to happen in reality, but it was able, I was able to have it happen on canvas. And that is the mature woman, mother, wife, friend, uh, Shoshana finally getting to be able to hold my mother and so I was giving birth to something that I've always wanted but I could never have in reality and on canvas here I could um, I kind of made my mother if you look in close um, her eyes the whites of her eyes are kind of yellowish um, and she has a scarf on her head. She kind of seems a little weak and kind of slightly out of it. <laughs> and that was uh, depicting her illness. Um, you know, illnesses come to people in many different ways. They come physically, emotionally, mentally. So this was a reflection of all those things and um, I kind of use although I use greens you know greens and yellows I try to keep them very muted because I wanted it to feel dreamlike I wanted it to feel uh, that yeah I guess that's the best way to put it to be to be dreamlike and I did want to use um, depth so I had these mountains in the back and you see all this plant life and delicate flowers like violets um, and basically my mother and I are just being caressed by the nature and although my head is above hers I'm not really looking at her. It's almost as though 
she can feel I'm holding her, but I'm not actually there. I can feel that I'm holding her, but I'm not actually there. Um, you know, there's, there's this funny thing is when somebody passes away from a disease like cancer or a heart attack or whatever it may be, it's pretty much at face value. If somebody is in a horrible accident, they're hit by a car, you know what killed them, it's pretty much face value. If somebody, God forbid, is is murdered, you know, someone took their life, you understand how they died. But what happens when that person that you love so much takes their own life? It's a very difficult thing, especially for a child, but anybody, to be able to wrap your head around, to be able to make sense of, um, so this piece is particularly poignant to me because I lost my mother due to her decision to take her own life. Um, <clears throat> so this painting comes uh, from many, many, after many years of being in tremendous emotional pain, experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder, um, and having the strength to find solutions, to go to therapy, to do things for myself out of therapy, um, and to realize that, you know, although I felt so powerless over what my mom did to herself, I felt so powerless over what happened afterwards, because my sister and brother and I were all split up, as we all had different fathers. Um, Artwork is an incredible way for me to not necessarily make sense of what my mom did, but to have a choice of continuing whatever essence, whatever feeling. It can, you know, it's not something that is 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 based in reality, but. To be able to see what I never had and the fact that I created it. So whereas my mother created the end of her life, I was able to create the extension of something. Um, and uh, this book that I'm writing has um, a lot of information. Um, it is my life from beginning to uh, to wherever I end up in the book and um, so thank you so much for taking this time with me and next Sunday I will go through another piece so this is Shoshana Marzell signing off I hope you have an amazing Sunday wherever you are peaceful and um, and hopeful Bye-bye. Take care. See you next time.